Hello everyone and welcome back to my Tech vs. Magic series. Today, we're going to try to finish this altar here. Though a number of things have changed since last episode, it's been a few days. First off, I finished the ward jars. And that took so much this to make all those that it actually has depleted the... Local ores, they don't seem to be recharging past a certain point. So I think I may have done some damage using that much fizz at once. It's a bit concerning there. Also, I've had to move this whole structure this way several blocks. Because it was not going to clear this wall. I checked to make sure the middle was going to clear that. But I did not check the corners here. And this little corner was going to kiss that wall a bit. So I ended up moving it up quite a bit more than it needed to, just so there'd be a decent size gap. And it also puts it right in the, or right close to the middle here. So when you come up, you'll have this big structure like right in your face. And I think that works. I think I'm going to have the main up-down area here. Assuming I ever move the mob spawner, which I don't know if I'm going to do or not. But that's one of the plans. And what else? Oh, I've also added a second row of half slabs here. Which will become evident. The reason for that will become evident soon. And I've got the old middle. There's this node. But I, since I moved it, I've started adding another one. It's actually not increasing. The past couple of times I've grown a tree, it's gone down instead of up. So I've stopped trying. Supposedly there's some way to merge them. I thought they would kind of drift towards each other. But I left the game running overnight and they haven't budged. So there's something I'm missing with getting those to join. don't know what it is yet. But hopefully by the time that you watch this, I will. But maybe not. I just need to spend some effort fiddling with that. And it's kind of annoying because it takes so long for a silver wood tree to grow. It makes it hard to do much experimentation with that. Okay, what else are we going to do? We're going to start with working on the middle area. So to start with, we're going to make some black wood stones. Wooded stones. This way. And we're also going to make a couple more red candles. That shouldn't cause much trouble. And you actually get a lot of these for very little resources, don't you? Half a stack. And yes, okay, I've got that. So we're going to get rid of this dirt. So we won't need that marker anymore. And we're going to get rid of all these. And then we'll place down the black. And let's see, we'll go ahead and put down these. There. Zap it with the wand. And I wonder if there's a fixed orientation. It looks like there is. Okay. And then the candles go here. I tried putting these on top of fence posts, but as of the current version, that does not work. Which is, the current version I'm on is 3.0.1b of Thumbcraft. Okay. I think that's it for the inside here. We do need to fill up these jars, but that's something for another day. Now then, time for the roof. And we're going to be using ice on the roof. Lots and lots of ice. But that's okay, because we have that little ice tray thing. And I guess I can dump off those for now. Oh yeah, the stupid wisp from that... Came over here and killed my golems. That's just terrible. I mean, how horrible do you have to be to kill 
poor little innocent golems like that. They're like, or that's like beating to death a baby seal with a kitten or something. It's just horrible. <sighs> Makes me sad. So I've got to remake those and get that sorting system going again. Okay, so first... Ooh, don't jump off. We need one there. Uh, one there. Whoops, not there. I can break that, that's fine. One there. Let's just get these corners. Mm, so I don't fall off. Should probably get some speed potions here. Let's do a couple more. Or clear up at least a stack of ice and then we'll do that. So first we just want to get a line of ice here. All the way around the edges. Ooh, don't fall off again. I wonder if it'd be easier to do it from up here. Yeah, that looks easier. More room to turn. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, oh yeah, and we're also going to do a copy right here in the middle. So this little space for the high slabs is going to be empty. Could make it solid, but that would use more ice and there's really no point to it plus I think it looks better with it hollow but you'll see once this gets finished it's not a very complicated well it's it looks complicated but it's not practically complicated let's go get some speed potions now hopefully I still have a couple I don't need this book anymore I wish I had the red power too already. Still isn't out for me. I'm recording a whole bunch for the holiday break. But it keeps saying it's going to be out and it keeps not being out. Okay. These. Make this go a little bit faster. And once I get down this first row just to make the rest of it easier to play. So I'll talk about this some more. We're just going to place a few dozen blocks. We're going to need more ice than I thought. That's okay. I think I left the thing freezing. Another good thing about this ice is I won't have to worry about mobs spawning on top of it. Yeah, I should do this from inside. Whoops. So we may have to worry about mobs spawning down here. Or we will have to until we get the lighting situation handled. I think that's what we're going to work on next episode. Maybe. Or at least part of it. Because that's be- Ah, oh, crap. I think I just completely missed that. No, I did it. Okay. I think I'm just having trouble walking in this direction. Probably just a personal problem. Mm, I think this side will be easier. And as you can see, as I pointed out earlier, I've been starting on the walls there. It's going to take quite a long time. They are very tedious to do. Because you can't just hold down the button and walk. You have to walk at an angle and click each time you want to place a block. Otherwise it won't place correctly. So the first thing we need to do is go up two rows of three and then two rows of... Then we go in one and two. Okay. Let's try this again. We go up three, then in one, up three, in one. Two and one and up two and one. 
So, three up, and one, three up, and one, two up, and one, two up, and one. And I will be back once I have that done. Okay, we've got that. This is the second level of two, so it's uh, three, three, two, two. And something happened with this node. It seems to have absorbed something or something. I don't understand what's going on with that. But whatever it is, it causes its flux to go way up. And this node still seems to be here. So it wasn't this node. I don't know. Now then we need to do go up two rows of one. So in one, up one. In one, up one. Twice. And then we need to go up one in two. Up one in two. Up one in three. Up one in three. And with the inside mirror mirroring that the best we can. Should probably do the inside first. And then come back and do the outside. I think that would be easier to place the blocks. So again, I will be back once that's done. And we'll take a look at how that looks. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that is done. Almost finished now. Still got to do a little stuff in the ceiling. Yeah, it's starting to come together. Okay, for our next trick, we're going to want some Mutor. How do we make that again? We need fire, light, and energy. So, what's that? Six torches. Mm. Fire, light, and energy. These are two of those. And how many of each was it? So, we need two coal and six torches. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. And that's going to leave us with a lot of extra dirt flux. Okay, so I will take the wood here. So the wood that we already have. Make some torches. How much uh, this does it take? Five. So we can only make 50. Which is still way more torches than I'm going to have. So that's fine. How many should we make, though? Hmm. Let's see. It was two of those, so if we do... That's going to be a lot. Okay, let's get more wood. Do that. So that's four stacks, and I want, I think, yeah, let's do that. So four stacks is, let's do this easily for myself to add. So that's 40, and that's near the limit. And we need 80 coal. So 60 plus 20. I think that's right. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Uh, where is my... Oh, it's over here. Never mind. Going to plot these down here for now. Though I'll be moving them later. And let's see. We'll grab you. And then. We'll melt a little bit. One. Okay, that's fine. Then the 80 coal. Hopefully that's not overflowing. And it looks like it is. Okay, we only made 30. But we'll have to see if that's enough. Okay. 
So, need to go up here again. Don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh no, mining fatigue. And I made it. Okay. So, I guess I should get rid of all this. I can't reach it. I have to come back for that. Mm. Is there anything under me? Nope. Okay. So, let's do that. And I can get rid of that. So, one, two, three, four. And actually, is this the center? So let's see, this should be the center. So this should be a place to where we put one of these. Um, it may not be right, but we'll find out here in a moment. Four, and are we four from there? We probably aren't right, are we? Oh yeah, I can't do it that way. Can't do that either. Um, okay, break that and come back for it. So, yeah, that wasn't right. Anyway, one, two, three, four. It goes here. Then. It's harder to tell where the blocks end with leaves, though. Uh, forward this way. And I hope my math is right. Okay, I need to bridge that first. And should have room for maybe one more. Four, and I can't reach. One, yes. Okay. Right there. So that's how they should be. And let me finish this row and I'll be right back. And now then for the last part. Random thunder. One, two, Four, right on Q even, and then here. Oops, can we place that? Let me place it, please. Okay, what if we do that? One there. Yep, that's right. Then should be far enough away from that. There and one more. Okay, that's creeping me out. And need to break these without. Ow. Well, now then we gotta get rid of the leaves. I'll be right back. Okay, let's take a look at it. Uh, lights. With the little aura node right in the center there. Be bigger once they, the that once those two combine. Let's take a look at it from way over here. I may even climb up that pillar there to get another angle on it. Looks like we might have missed a block there. I'd fix that. That are it's something inside. Let's check from this angle. Nope, we definitely missed a block there. Okay. 
Okay. What is that? Let's just go around and take a look. Yeah, there it is. That looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Except for that little notch. Yeah. Let me just fix that. And then we'll be set for that building. Next thing I think we're going to build is the furnace room. Though, like I said earlier, we do need to deal with some problems with the lighting. Get rid of, getting rid of all that dark spot there. Because that is really killing the efficiency of my mob spawner. Let's see. I think there's any other problems where we missed something. I wonder how that happened. I must have accidentally nicked it. I uh, just one piece should do. And the uh, nitor is not close enough to the ice to be melting it. That looks really cool, I think. Uh, where are you, hole? Or notch? I did see that, didn't I? Can't find it from this angle. Mm, it's not here. It was in that direction. Is there a block that we missed somewhere? Is that what is causing it? Let's see. Whoops. I overshot that. Oh. Well, I just ended up right where I started. Um, where is it? Maybe if I take a look from further away. I don't see anything. I wonder what I was seeing then. It might just be the shadow from that. It's probably what it was. And what it must be. It certainly looked like we missed something. Oh crap, now I can't reach that block. Let's check it one more time. Now that it's getting daylight. Fall. Okay, I don't see anything now. It must have just been... The shadow. Okay. I guess we should take a look at it from the day anyway. Where the ice is not as harsh. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And we have all these jars here. Let's see, do I have a. Yeah, I have a stone row already. Go there. I'm going to have them organized in rows, and the less common ones are going to be like here where they're shorter rows. So already I've got the binding, the food, the spirit. I think that's valuable stuff. Ouch. And then some more common stuff dirt, and death, and rock, and plant. Yeah, this is a nice crafting room. Once these get all full, it look, will probably look a lot better. Or even better, I should say. Because it already looks pretty awesome right now. And then, coming out on 
this side here, we're going to have a furnace area. Then coming out on this side here, we'll have a distillation area. And probably some water. Maybe a fountain for the for some golems to fill up this. Probably we'll make some golems to man those four crucibles soon. Probably once I do the distillation area or once I get annoyed with doing it myself. Whichever one comes first. Then we need to have a storage area somewhere. Probably a uh, Domcraft storage area and then a general storage area. And then over on that half is going to be the equivalent exchange area. Which I still have not installed, but we'll do probably really soon. Maybe it can help me with my lapis problem. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you next time.